I just get him for the bros. I'm just worried about them tips. I'm a shot call, little nigga. I'ma stay wild. Hot. Hey, what's up, my guys? Dignal here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sort of showing you how to make the effect that you've just seen on screen. Uh, it is a very, very long effect, and you know, usually I tell you roughly how long it's going to take for you guys to recreate the effect. Uh, however, for this specific one. Uh, it is so long that I actually cannot show you step by step just exactly how I made it. Uh, instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the entire project file as well as the download link to the uh, the song, the audio, the clips, everything, uh, the transitions and stuff like that uh, in the description. So uh, just go ahead and download all of that and open up the project file. I'm assuming you guys can figure out how to do that by yourself. Uh, and you know, you have to have all the, uh, the plugins installed, of course, but I'm assuming most of you guys have that as well. Uh, now, once you have all of that, you can actually go ahead and open up the project file. Uh, so I'm going to be walking you guys sort of step by step through how I made the, uh, the effect right here. So, uh, to start off, we just have my clip right here and then we have the impact and right here, uh, I cut out a bit of the, uh, of the, the wall here. So we fade that in, as you can see, we fade that out and we fade that in and right here behind. So this, this wall is transparent now because of the cropping tool right here. So, uh, once you've done that, you can actually see this cinematic that I have back here and this up here, this is just the cutout for the character. And this underneath is the, uh, the paper thing, which we of course have a couple effects on. So, um, back to the cinematic down here. Uh, I have added a paper transition to the cinematic. It is very, very easy to do, and there are several tutorials on YouTube, uh, so it shouldn't be that hard whatsoever. Pretty much what you need to do, you just need to put the, the cinematic or the uh, the paper transition over the cinematic. You need to keyframe either the, the green or the red, and then you just render it, and then you put it back into the project file, and then you can just uh, chroma key the, uh, the last color, and then you're done pretty much. So, uh, as you can see, we have that right here. It's just a normal cinematic, you know, it's just going in. I didn't really make it too special, so it doesn't really matter all too much. And the, uh, the paper opens up and I just have this right here. So this is this thing down here and pretty much what this is, this up here is just the character cutout. It's just, you know, the entire thing. There's no real tricks to it. And this down here is the paper that I've animated. So what I've done is I've just taken a paper overlay right here. It's in my pack and also in the description. And I have just made a bunch of different masks with spacing of about five frames. And I've just gone ahead and done that. And as you can see, it just keeps going like that. And I've added some toad shakes so that it doesn't look too boring. And I have, of course, blurred and sort of dark in the background. And when we come to the second beer drop right here, uh, I have added an impact. So it just does that. So it doesn't look too boring. And then the character starts moving. So basically what I did to achieve this is I just went one frame back from here, from where the thing wants to start. Uh, I, I right clicked and I went to uh, freeze frame a cursor. And then I just dragged the uh, the thing all the way back here. And then I dragged it in from the right to the, from the left to the right. So um, that should just achieve this entire still frame and you can just hold control, drag it up and uh, everything like that. So um, once we've done that, there isn't really much left to, uh, to show. It's just, you know, the clip that goes in and then we have the impact right here and we have some bass swooshes and everything like that. Uh, but once again, everything is in the description. If you have any questions about the uh, about the effect or about anything else, really, uh, you can go ahead and join my Discord server. Link is in the description. Uh, I'm very active on there, so if you do have questions uh, about this, uh, this effect, do feel free to join, and uh, I'll try to explain it to you as best as I can. And I can also, you know, hop and call with some of you guys and just sort of screen and share what you need to do. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the uh, the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.